Good morning! Today is a very quick one. I will just show you how to export the Cine camera so you can use it in other 3D applications such as Blender, Embergen or iClone. So here we are in Unreal Engine. This is the scene I've used for the last tutorials, so I promise I will use a new environment soon. But uh, yeah, let's get into it. So let's say for example that you've uh, created this camera animation that you're very happy with. And you want to use it in other 3D applications. So you can incorporate uh, characters or VFX in 3D applications such as Embergen or iClone for example. All you have to do is to create a sequence with the camera, then animate it. It uses a custom film back of 28 millimeters times 19 millimeters on the height. And we want to preserve this data, of course, when translating it between softwares. Down here, you can see your actor in the sequencer. Simply right click on the actor and go up to export. Select a target destination for your camera. Name your camera in a logical manner. So I will name my Ari underscore Alexa 35 underscore camera. You can uncheck basically all boxes, but I would suggest leaving the export local time checked and also export the preview mesh. And you can see here what they mean. So export local time uh, means if enabled export sequencer animation in its local time relative to its sequence. So I suggest having that checked. And the export preview mesh means if enabled, the preview mesh link to the exported animations will also be exported. After you've gone through all the settings that you want, simply hit the export button and it will export your camera. Then we can do the same for any object that we want to reference in our scene. So for example, the uh, Volvo here, we want to bring this car also to the other 3D applications. So we can use it as a reference point. If a character interacts with it, this mesh can also be uh, animated and you simply follow the same procedure. So uh, right click the uh, actor in the sequencer, go up to export and then name your export in a logical manner. So I will name it Volvo underscore S90 and then save. The settings I suggest here is uh, checking the level of detail and then you can ignore the rest. Based on the geometry, this will either take a while or go very fast. This model was very high poly, so it took a while for me to export this. So don't worry if Unreal Engine freezes for a while, well, it exports. If this was all you needed to know, then you can exit the video here. Thanks for watching. For the rest of you, we will look at a few examples of how you can use the camera animation in other 3D applications. We will start with Blender. So in Blender, simply drag and drop your uh, FBX file into the uh, viewport. To do this, you need to have a add-on enabled. Otherwise, you go up to File and then Import and FBX. And simply hit Ctrl-0 to make the camera the active camera. And then press 0 to go into the camera view. If we have a look at the settings here, you can see that all the settings were translated perfectly into the Blender one. So it uses the same width and the same height, the same focal length and the same position. And same with the car, you can also just import the FBX and it will be placed in the same position as it was placed in Unreal Engine. Make sure that the sensor fit is set to horizontal so it matches the field of view in uh, Unreal Engine. And here you can see when we change between the uh, DCCs that the camera view is perfectly aligned. So now I can go ahead and start creating cool stuff in Blender with this camera animation. So let's head over to iClone 8. Here it's the same thing, it's only a matter of dragging and dropping the model from the file browser into your viewport. However, when we do this, the mesh that we just imported will have a offset on the position. So we need to head over to the modify tab and then reset the uh, move uh, values, either by typing it manually or hitting the reset zero out value here. 
and now the car will have the correct position in the world. So for iClone users, this next step is very important to take note of. It's that you simply can't drag and drop the camera FBX into the viewport. Uh, this will be imported as a prop, which is not what you want. So the correct way of doing it is heading up to File and then Import, Import Cameras. Now you can select the camera FBX and now it will be uh, correctly imported as a camera item as you can see indicated by the camera icon here in the uh, scene outliner. You don't really have to change any settings as it will read the correct settings from the FBX file. If we bring up the project settings by hitting Ctrl Shift P, we can change the FPS to the same FPS settings in Unreal Engine, which was 25 in my case. It varies depending on your project. We can also trim the end frames here to the to match the ones we had in Unreal Engine, which was 126 in my case. As you can see here, all of the settings are preserved. So it uses the same sensor width and the same sensor height, the same focal length, etc. Now you can go ahead and add your digital 3D character and animate it however you want, and then export this animation back to Unreal to have a very cool character animation in your project. Just make sure that when you move stuff around in iClone that you do it on the first frame. Otherwise it will create a transform keyframe and your objects will be moved around in the scene. For the final example, here we are in Embergen. If you want to set your car ablaze or something. Same procedure, uh, just drag and drop the FBX into the node graph. And it will take a while to process the geometry based on its complexity. After it's done, you will see it uh, appear in the viewport. And then drag and drop your camera. And if we zoom in on the uh, node here, you will see that we have a Aria Alexa 35 camera pin. Simply drag from this pin and create a camera node. And here we will control the settings. Up here, you can change to your camera, camera 2 in my example. Head over to the camera node and under display resolution you can type in whatever resolution you had in Unreal Engine. So I used a 16x9 uh, sensor size. So I'll type in 1920 by 1080 here to get the correct field of view. For the sensor fit also make sure that it's set to horizontal so it matches the uh, field of view of your camera in Unreal Engine. When you transfer cameras between DCCs, make sure that you always use the same FPS in all of your software. So the camera animation is set to 25 FPS and the default uh, FPS in Embergen is 60. So just make sure that the uh, FPS uh, is the same in all softwares that you use. And that's basically it. So yeah, it's not difficult to export the camera from Unreal Engine to use it in other cool ways in other 3D applications. To take your animations to the next step by using real-time VFX in Embergen or creating very cool character animations in iClone 8. As always, if you have any questions about this, uh, let me know in the comments below uh, by typing in your questions. There are of course a lot of different scenarios such as if you parent the camera in Unreal Engine to a dolly track, for example, how would that data transfer? Depending on your needs, you may encounter different issues. Just let me know your problems in the comments down below, and I will try to answer them as quickly as I can. Hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.